Welcome everybody to the Indie Pod Podcast. I'm your host. Oh, we even have the thing like right up in the corner here. I'm your host, Super Joe Pardo, and I am so pumped to have my guest this week uh, come and speak. It's, it, you know, known him for a while now. I've gotten to see him grow and work out some things. So, it, which goes really well with what we're going to be talking today, which is. Uh, Taming your inner critic when it comes to podcasting. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. Before I jump in there, though, with and introduce my guest, I need to give a shout out to our sponsor, uh, Podbean. Podbean is an easy and powerful way to start podcasting. They give you all the tools you need for a successful podcast, such as unlimited. Podcast hosting, podcast distribution, monetization options for podcasts of any size, shape, or form, and live stream podcasting, podcasting, podcasting capabilities. Sign up today at www.podbean.com. That's P-O-D-B-E-A-N.com. Now, I need everybody in the chat to tell me, first off, where are you listening from? It would be great to, to hear where you're listening from. And I also need for you to give some super claps in the chat for Tim Bryan. Woo! Welcome, Tim. All right, Joe. How are you tonight? I am. I am tired. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work in my garage. Uh, just so, like, so there used to be like a lot of insulation hanging out of the walls. Now there's insulation tucked behind plastic, and I'm starting to plastic the uh, ceiling as well to uh, stop inhaling, I guess, so much falling insulation in this garage office thing that I have going on. Oh, yeah, that, that asbestos <laughs> will get you in a heartbeat, man. It'll get you in a heartbeat. you got to be careful. you got to protect I, those vocal cords. Yeah, I hope it's not asbestos. I mean, I don't think it's that old. It was built in the 80s, so I think it, I think I'm safe, but I don't really know. I'm, I'm not really sure. It was built in the 70s, so I don't know if you're that safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, so how are you doing tonight, Tim? Well, uh, a little tired like you are because um, I'm a uh, father of twins. I'm uh, part of the Twin Dad podcast uh, group. Um, <laughs> that I think uh, it's uh, Matt Passy and myself. And if there's others out there, uh, they need to get in contact with us. But yeah, I've been up since uh, four this morning and uh, doing that wonderful telework thing. But you know what? I, I am pumped to do this because I've been watching you do this show now for a while. I've watched it live. And um, I, I'm excited to be on here. And I, you know what? It slipped by me. Podbean is your sponsor for here, and Podbean is my uh, is my uh, media host uh, for uh, one of my shows. Oh, that's awesome! That 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 is awesome. Yeah, they uh, they are, they are great people over there. Uh, it's yeah, they they were so generous to sponsor uh, a good chunk of episodes of the Indie Pod podcast. Uh, so very fortunate in in that regard. Um, so yeah, let's. Oh, before we jump, actually, before we jump into into it, uh, this Saturday we have uh, a thing going on. We have a free live social media po uh, social media uh, promotion for podcasting going on in the Indie Pod group. Uh, it's uh, it's totally free. You don't even have to join the group. Like I, I'd love for people to go and, and share and join the group. Um, I'd love for people to hit that uh, that start a watch party button right there. If you're watching right now, to, to get more people, more eyeballs to see this free live social media promotion for podcasters conference this Saturday. Just go to indiepodcon dot com slash virtual and you can watch it right there on the page we have some amazing sponsors we have some amazing speakers uh it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome it's from uh 9 a.m till 5 p.m eastern daylight time so uh this saturday can't wait april 25th uh it's gonna be a lot of, I'm, i think i'm gonna host it from out here in the garage I'm hoping that it'll be warm yeah, enough out should. here in the garage i i think i should i i've i've resisted in the past because it was so cold um, mm -hmm. you know, out here, but, but now with the plastic, uh, it's, it's getting warmer and warmer. I'm even thinking about getting tile carpet, like for the floor out here, uh, you know, in the not too distant Ooh. future. So we'll see. 
So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it would make it a lot warmer in here, that's for sure. I'm trying to. I'm trying to upgrade <laughs> yeah. the, 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 the party room. I mean, this is like where we host parties and stuff, so it needs to get at least a little nicer. Even if I don't have drywall, I might get drywall at some point. But for right now, plastic, it does the job. <laughs> <laughs> that'll work that'll work it will work so tim why don't you give everybody some background about yourself and how you uh figured out like the inner inner critic uh is is inside of you and that you know how to tame it oh yeah uh, that that inner critic i tell you um it can be a beast and i uh, my inner critic is relentless relentless it knows all my weak points but um, I've I've managed over the years to uh, learn a few tricks here and there um, through a lot of different sources. So my story starts way back in 2006, um, and I was running a uh, a blog talk radio uh, podcast mainly because I had uh, listened to a blog talk radio podcast. It was a uh, poetry podcast, and I was like, I've been writing poetry since you know 1989. Uh, and so I, uh, you know, I called into their show, really liked those folks, but I didn't have anybody locally in the area that was really running a, a poetry reading. So I started up my own show, didn't know what the heck I was doing, and I didn't care what was going on. And it did that for a number of years, up until about mm, 2013, 2014. Changed the show instead of a poetry show to kind of a uh, a sketch comedy show, a really bad sketch comedy show. There's <laughs> 65 episodes that will never see the light of day. Yeah, my uh, my uh, my co-host over at Podrec, um, uh, Kyle Bondo, he's unfortunately heard five minutes of one of those episodes, and uh, he was about ready to shave his head after that and say he doesn't he doesn't know me anymore. He's going to disown me and all that good stuff. But I uh, met up with uh, Kyle back in, I want to say about 2016, 2017, did a, uh, did a meetup with him on that. And uh, he was teaching a uh, basic podcasting class. And that's when I learned the correct way. Well, the correct way, because in podcasting, we know it all depends. And this is not a commercial for depends undergarments, although we probably all need it because we don't have toilet paper. But um it depends on what you're trying to do with yourself and what you're trying to do with your podcast. And so um, I did a KDOI, Chemo's Den of Iniquity, which is my old podcast. Did that right up until, gosh, uh, just this last year. Switched over to Create Art Podcast, uh, which is my new podcast on Podbean, of all places. Good place. <laughs> Love you, Podbean. Yeah, yeah I do Give too. Give me a free month. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I and I've been doing that podcast now for uh, since um, about November, December of uh, this uh, past year, 2019. So, how did I learn about uh, that inner critic kind of stuff? Well, I've got a background in theater that goes back to about uh, 89, uh, 90. Yeah, about 89, 90. Uh, I've got a bachelor's in theater, master's in theater, and um, with theater, you get a lot of criticism. Bless you. No, thank you. you. I was trying not to get that in the mic. <laughs> no, that's all right. I got you. you. You get a lot of criticism um, in that if the show's not good, you don't get applause. With podcasting, we don't necessarily get that immediate feedback unless we're live streaming like this. Um, but uh, with, with theater, you get it right away. You know, stand up comedy, same thing. They don't laugh at your joke. Oops. You immediately know, hey, I bombed on that. I sucked on that. <laughs> But, um, you know, I, I learned a couple of tricks along the way to kind of um, not let that uh, stop me from being a, a creative kind of person. And, and that's, that's, that's the big thing uh, that I like to tell people is criticism is good. The right kind of criticism is better and it's going to make you better. And when it comes from internally, a lot of times we don't play fair with ourselves. We really don't. We know all of our weak, spot, weak points and weak spots. So, um, yeah, basically, uh, things that I learned on that is um, I feed my inner critic with uh, a lot of uh, positivity. And I'm not talking about the, uh, you know, the kind of stuff where it's, 
uh, fake positivity, you know, uh, I'm beautiful, I'm smart, people like me, and gosh darn it, and all that kind of SNL kind of stuff. I'm talking about, you know, you look at the positive things that you've done in your life. Um, and one of the main things that I do is I look at my past successes. Um, I've had a podcast since 2006. Not a lot of people can say that. Mm. May not have been the best podcast in the world. Um, you'll never hear 65 of those episodes. But I've had one since 2006, and I can go, you know, around my neighborhood. I, I can go in the city where I live in, in Fredericksburg, and I can count on two hands the amount of people have podcasts. Not a lot of people are doing it, although we do. We just had a million podcasts on Apple Podcasts. But, oh wow! But not a lot of people yeah. are doing it, and only half the half the population's heard of a podcast. So you're you're automatically if you're doing a podcast, you're doing something that. Half the people in America haven't heard of or aren't listening to right now. So, yeah, yeah. So it's it, it's filling yourself up with that positivity and then having a good attitude toward criticism. And I've gotten, um, it's the Taco Tuesday shirt. Yeah, yes. let's, let's, uh, oh, it's the wrong side. Yeah, let's talk about Tuesday. There you go. Uh, Let us uh, Eric, 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 Eric Patrick uh, Thomas is the one that created this shirt, and uh, he's the, probably the one that just <laughs> that uh, who who wrote that. You, Eric, you need to go to uh, was it Streamyard dot com slash Facebook so uh, we can see your awesome face in the chat. Uh, and Brent says, "Good to remind yourself if pa of past successes. Def helps." Uh, reminds uh, helps with imposter syndrome. Uh, absolutely, we are very much, uh, you know, uh, we are very much, you know, always trying to strive for the next big thing that we can create because, like, it's easy for us to be like, well, you know, I know I did all those other things, but like, if I just toot that horn all the time, everyone's gonna be like, yeah, we're, like, cool, that was like, how many years ago was that now? And and mm -hmm. still like years and years and years ago. Uh, Tim, you, would you, would you believe, I knew there, like, I knew there was a reason that we got along so well. Would you believe that I was a poet as well? And I have like a book, like, uh, of, you of got poetry, a book of your own poetry. Yes. Yes, nice. I do. I do. I, I've thought about doing a book, like getting it like, uh, in like a bounded, like, you know, Amazon KDP kind of thing. Um, I just yeah. haven't had the time to sit down and like do it. <laughs> Uh, I've even thought about sending it to somebody else to type it all out and format it and like <laughs> put the book together from the writings, but I don't know. I just haven't, it's not high on my priority list right now, but there is a well, book. I mean, Joe, you know, you've got, you, you've got so many things going on for you. It's, it's a wow. And I, and I like, uh, what, uh, you were talking about with imposter syndrome because you know, we, we've all heard about imposter. Oh no, Tim, are you there? Oh, Tim, Tim looks like he, he locked up. He locked up before we, uh, oh, oh, he's coming through. Tim, Tim, there yeah, you froze. Okay. Got, uh, you're free. All right, there you go. There we go. Good. You're live. Well, no pressure. Put my and with the and all that kind of jazz. There we go. <laughs> Did you freeze again? I think he froze again. Anyway, like I was saying, he froze right before we started. And I was like, oh, that's not a good sign. We're, we are not on the right track for success. Oh, 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 he's catching up. He's catching up. I'm trying to move a little bit here. Yep. Just keep moving so I can tell if you're frozen or not. <laughs> like a Wednesday night dance party. There we I, go. My sound effects aren't working oh, or yeah. I would have some, uh, I would, I, I would definitely be filling in with music. <laughs> Sadly, sadly, sadly. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm sorry. So so you you were saying uh, yeah. too many things going on and imposter syndrome. Yeah, that imposter syndrome really feeds that inner critic because uh, you know with the imposter syndrome we're we're thinking we don't deserve you know the uh, the, the good things that we have. We you know if people are going to find out that we're a fraud. People are going to find out that you know we don't know what we're talking about. Um, fact of the matter is yeah, we do know what we're talking about. We need to give ourselves credit for it. We need to give ourselves a lot of credit for it where, where credit is due. And, um, you know, you don't, don't feed that imposter syndrome. Don't, don't feed it with your inner critic. Your inner critic is best used in other places. 
um, like with the right mindset. Um, I'll, I'll, let me talk about Dave Jackson's uh, podcast radio show. The, for, the, the Dave Jackson. The, the Dave Jackson's uh, uh, podcast radio. By the way, Dave, that's another $100. I'll split it with Joe. Oh, well, thank he, you. He I appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, I'm, I'm good like that. I want to see you get those tiles in the floor there. So Yes. But, yes, um, I do too. Warm up this, this garage a little bit. It's saying it's 59 degrees. It's only nine degrees warmer than it is outside right now that the heater's not on so that's a pretty good sign <laughs> well see i'm i'm french canadian so i'm, I'm hairy so the, the cold doesn't bother me at all plus i'm from <laughs> chicago originally so yeah what can you do but uh i popped in five bucks to do the uh, podcast rodeo show um a while back and I, I was feeling pretty good about it and uh dave um he ripped me a new one which i deserved and he did it with my KDOI podcast, uh, Chemo's Den of Iniquity. Sounds like a radio station. What is a den of iniquity? Nobody knows. And it, uh, I initially, I was hurt by it. I was like, oh, Dave, because I've known Dave now for since 2017 DC PodFest, which is where I first met you. Of course, at that time, um, I was had a neck brace and I was oh, on yeah. Viking and a bunch of pain pills. Had my, uh, my uh, neck surgery at that time. So I've known you guys, you know, the same amount of time. Mm -hmm. And, um, but the thing of it is, is that he comes at it, uh, as a teacher, he comes at it to try to make your show better. And I took, uh, it, it took me a while. I'll, I'll tell you this true. Um, it took me about a month to kind of recover from that. And I was like, you know what? I may not have liked it at the time, but when I thought about it, I was like, he's right. And that was part of the decision to change the name of the show from KDOI to create art podcasts because that's what the podcast is all about i was wondering where, I was wondering where that came out of uh like what but I, but it makes a lot of sense because like i honestly didn't know what that meant either i thought it was like koi fish or something i, I don't know <laughs> I, well and if you don't type it in right you get something completely different which oh, don't i bet that, folks don't do that <laughs> 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 you, you you get a bad uh, NSF uh, W or whatever that's called uh, kind of website. Yeah, there. not safe for what. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> well, I'll make sure not to do that. Don't do that. <laughs> um, another thing that uh, we used to do uh, way back in my theater days was we used to do things things called uh, post mortems, and uh, it sounds like you know going to the coroner's office after a bad surgery, which is what it is. And uh, basically, you, uh, I, I went to uh, Virginia Commonwealth University. That's where I got my master's at. You would do a show. As soon as you got done with the show, you had the entire faculty. You had all the grad students, and you had the upperclassmen sitting down and critiquing your show every second of the show, wow. every decision that you made. And you had to sit there for two hours. And the thing that I learned how to survive that is I didn't defend anything. I just, I just, you know, I uh, took the criticism that resonated with me. Uh, and I came in with a open mind and an open heart. And I said, you know what? Give it to me. Some of the stuff you're going to take and some of the stuff you're going to say, yeah, you, you didn't even watch the same show that I produced. Mm. And, uh, that's, yeah, that's being able to take that criticism it takes a little bit of a thick skin, but if it's going to be something that is, uh, if your show is going to be something that's going to last throughout the ages, you're going to have to have that thick skin and you're going to want to have that good uh, critique because I'm lucky. I get surrounded by, you know, folks like you, <laughs> Dave Jackson. Um, I've got uh, Kyle uh, Bondo uh, that yeah, I've known him for a, a number of years now. He's my uh, partner in crime. And uh, I know that I'm going to get, good feedback from you guys i know you guys are gonna you know are not gonna pull punches and go hey tim that was really good and then you know stab me in the back and go no really come on <laughs> but uh i don't know you're from new jersey you might do that to a chicago no 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 i was supposed to be born somewhere else man i wasn't supposed to be born in jersey i, I <laughs> you, you, you're a chicago guy i can feel it man i can feel it uh, uh maybe <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, not not the deep dish mess that you guys have. I don't. I can tell you that much. Oh. So I've, I've been to Chicago twice. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not eating the pizza. But I, I you know, pizza uh, was it Uno? Uno's is good, <laughs> but Uno's, not the pizza. Yeah, I don't eat Uno's the pizza. Okay. Uh, their other food is good. 
But it's been a long time since I've been there <laughs> at this point. You were that close to getting your Chicago card. You were that close. Uh, <laughs> is it is it even legit? Like it, is it like is it really legit? I mean, the look, the the Chicago I've been to was primarily a hotel in Chicago, not okay, far yeah. from O'Hare. So, yeah, for what that's um, worth. Uh, Next time you go to Chicago, let me know. I'll go with you. I'll, you know, I won't, you'll be there well protected because there's, you know, three, four types of people in Chicago. There's a tourist, which everyone gets to pick on and beat up. Um, there's a, a guest, which is what I would bring you under as, mm. which is you don't mess with them. Uh, <laughs> if he's, if your guest is being, you know, escorted by a transplant or a, or a native myself, I'm a, a transplant. Um, I lived there for you know a good chunk of my life. Then you have the native Chicagoans. Nobody messes with the native Chicagoan. They're made men or women. There you so go. Uh, yeah, you don't mess with them. Lou, finally, you, with the, the hashtags. Thank you so much. We missed you on Monday with uh, Sam and Jen. Lou, it was it was sad not having you there <laughs> <laughs> with all the hashtags. So so what else can we do? Because like I know for me. Um, it's real like it's real easy to uh to to like fall into that trap of i need to do something else or i need to pivot or like what i'm doing is not working even if it is working or it's not working well enough or hey everybody else is working so much better why am i not doing it i did that i got it i need more like i need more i need to go right like uh uh yeah, and Eric, Eric uh, Patrick Thomas says, "Come visit Flint." I I do need to come visit Flint. I need to come visit you, mm -hmm. Eric. Uh, and uh, hashtag Lou, hashtag hashtag Lou. Uh, Brett, <laughs> thanks, Brett. Uh, yeah. So, like, what what else? Like, I don't know, man. It's it's sometimes it's it's a lot it's a lot easier to talk about it than to actually mm -hmm. do do it and not like put yourself in the second guess mode, if you will. Well, it's it's okay to second guess yourself because you're you're going to and and that's something you're yeah, yeah. I think I've learned to just accept it. I am going to second guess myself. I am going to you know think about it, but that's not going to stop me from doing it because how to stop a really bad inner critic is to try. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Maybe the audience uh, isn't right for it. Maybe the, uh, the the show that you're producing or the event that you're producing. It's, uh, I, I steal a line from Seth Godin a lot. It's not for them. It's maybe it's for somebody else. You just haven't put that, that show in front of the uh, right audience, in front of the right ears. You haven't invited the right people to the event that you're doing. And, and it's okay if it's not for uh, the, the audience that is sitting there for it. It's going to be for somebody else because um, as much as, you know, we're all unique individuals, uh, th there, you, there's, we have uh, a lot of similarities with other people around the world, I think. And what works for me, I I'm a big fan of uh, avant-garde theater um, and French cinema. How did I get interested in that? I have no idea. I grew up in you know Chicago and Rockford, Illinois. There wasn't a good art house theater anywhere near us. <laughs> but somehow I've always had that in the back of my mind. And when I got out to Paris, France, I was like, I'm at home. This feels, you know, really comfortable. So <laughs> if your audience isn't where you're at uh, in your physical location or in your sphere of where you're uh, operating at, then maybe you need to pick up roots and move someplace else and give that a try for yourself. Uh, you know, a change of scenery is always a good thing. I've moved every year from the time I was uh, 12 until I was 40, until I bought this wonderful house that you see right here. Beautiful man cave. <laughs> that, and, um, I bet, I bet you it's warmer in there. <laughs> I bet you it's warmer in there. <laughs> oh, dude! I, you know, I, I've I've got three blankets here. I've got a couch here. So it, it, it's the perfect podcast editing studio. Because if I get tired of something, I just plop on the couch, watch watch some well some old hockey at this point. But watch some hockey, and I'm good to go. And I get my mind off of it. And sometimes you just got to walk away from that project for a minute. And go, you know, I, I can't figure my way out of it. I can't figure out why nobody's listening to my podcast. Well, walk away for a minute and then think about it. Take a walk around the block. Maybe take a month off the podcast and 
solicit that feedback. And one thing that you can do to solicit feedback, you can do the podcast radio show. It's five bucks. It's not that bad. Dave, that's another hundred dollars. Thank you so much. <laughs> or uh, give 50 to Joe and then 50 to me. You know how that goes, Dave. Um, or um, like what I'm doing uh, actually this week is uh, I uh, talked with uh, Matt Passy and um, I uh, took him up. Uh, he was talking about it, what, uh, last year at MapCon or at IndiePodCon or the year before about, you know, his podcast uh, consulting thing. And uh, I said, you know what, now's the time for me to go ahead and do that because I've got the new podcast started up. It has a lot of the same elements as the old podcast, but I just want a, uh, a set of eyes on this. I want to make that investment. Now, it's more than five bucks. It's, it's a financial investment, but I'm willing to invest in my podcast to make it better to find the people that the podcast is for. Because my podcast isn't for everybody. Everybody that's watching this here with us tonight and that's going to see this on the replay, my podcast may not be for you. I'm not trying to be a jerk. It may not be for you. It may not be your thing. And that's okay. I'm fine with that. You can listen to it and you can tell me what you think about it. More than likely, I'll you know take it in and uh, understand the uh, understand uh, try to understand what you're trying to say uh, about the podcast. But I'm going to keep on moving on with uh, what I feel is the overall vision of the podcast uh, for myself. No, so okay, so like haters gonna hate and all that stuff, right? And then I yeah. and I mm -hmm. and I try to fully you know fool myself into that too. But there is a comes a point, and 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 my question to you is: is how do you know when it's time to say maybe they have a point? <laughs> you know, maybe <laughs> maybe they maybe they're not so crazy. Maybe maybe the Dave Jackson ripping my show a new hole is not mm -hmm. uh, the worst thing, like. You know, maybe he's not just some crackpot on the internet. <laughs> Other than the well, fact that he's the Dave Jackson. <laughs> exactly. He is the Dave Jackson. We are going to get so much money off of him tonight. Yeah, I yes. know. <laughs> he must have, I, I, you know, he's got a stimulus check. I know it. So there we go. We're going to, that's ours now. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I got to get that. Daddy <laughs> so, needs a floor, right? <laughs> and then, yeah, exactly. I need, I need, Daddy I need some carpet floor. tiles. <laughs> And I've decided I'm not going with the RE320. I'm actually going to go with the uh, Samsung uh, Q92, uh, uh, Q9U uh, now. So I, I know I was talking to you the other day Q9 about uh, the Q9U. No one Q9U, has mentioned yeah. a, I've never heard anybody mention a Q9U. Just came out. Literally oh, just wow. came out. They were talking about it at NAM earlier this year. Wow. And, uh, yeah, look I'm looking that. at all the specs. It's a nice, nice microphone. And that will feed your inner, that will, you know, fix your inner critic in a heartbeat. Sounding good. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, like what yeah. you were saying is, you know, how do you know when these, you know, there it is, folks. That's going to be my new microphone. Cool. USB -C. It's a very, very nice microphone. Exactly. That's good. Yeah. And it's got its internal shock mount, and you uh, don't need to have a uh, a uh, audio huh. interface with it if you don't want to. It's got it built on in there. Uh, you know, uh, I might, might I might want to want to go for one of these too. Like, how, how much are these running? It's uh it's uh, two uh, two bones, two hundred bucks. So we just mentioned Dave's name two more times, and we got it. You know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So the Dave Jackson. I don't know if he's recommending it or not, but the Dave Jackson. See, there we go. There's a two hundred bucks. There you go, Joe. Q not. Uh, it's not Reach on Amazon Calvin. yet. Uh. No, it's not on. I I've seen it on uh, B and H. Uh, is where I saw it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I will have to look at that because, like, down here, I don't want to have a bunch of wires. I mean, I got enough wires and stuff on my desk. I, I don't need a whole lot more. Uh, <laughs> Hashtag when is, it, when is the ripped hole warranted? Uh, thank you, Lou. Um, I'm sorry. So, so when when is when is it time to when like to, to 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 see that at the ripped hole? Yeah, ripped hole is warranted. I, I think it's time to see that when, like we a lot of us go on um, uh, on Amazon and you know we see the five star rating, four star, three star, two star, one star, and all that kind of jazz. And when you see enough ratings be uh, low enough, and I, hey, I get it. People know how to game uh, Apple Podcasts and all the other uh, podcast players out there to get ratings to be a Oh, no, you're starting to break up again. No, no, Lou. <laughs> no, Lou. No, Lou. Uh, no, Tim, come back. Come back. Come oh. back, Tim. 
Earth to Tim. Earth to Tim's internet. It's 2020. It should be a little more consistent. Do me a favor. <laughs> Where's ha hashtag consistent internet? Oh, he's just totally frozen. Oh, man. Come on, Tim. Come on back. Uh, well, you know what? In the, uh, right now, it's a good time for me to take a minute. And uh, you know what, Tim? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're back. I, uh, before back. We, before we go into that answer, that just you know, the internet yeah. just ripped you right off. Let's let me just remind everybody that this Saturday we are going to have a eight hour live virtual conference for free. All about social media promotion for podcasting. You can join us at indiepodcon.com slash virtual. Also, don't forget that we still have uh, an event in September. I don't know if we'll actually get to have the event in person or if it'll be virtual. Uh, I'm ho I'm really hoping that it's in person, but like it's it's not going to break my back if it's if it's not. It'll, it'll break my heart, but it won't break my back or my wallet's back. Uh, so join us September 24th to the 26th in Philadelphia, or just outside of Philadelphia, PA. Uh, you get 10% off with discount code uh, IPP. Uh, to go to indiepodcon.com slash register to get your ticket. Uh, we're going to be announcing, I know Tim, you asked me the other, the other week, uh, if we would be announcing those speaker spots soon. Uh, if you haven't applied to speak, you still have time to apply to speak. We pushed it back because of the virus. April 30th is the, is the end day. So if you haven't, if you want to speak at Icon 6 in September, you absolutely can. Go to IndiePodCon.com slash apply, and you can submit your talk. Uh, and then sometime, hopefully in the middle of May, we'll have the uh, we'll have a live stream announcing all the speakers. Uh, and then hopefully by like June, we will know if there will actually be an in-person event or not. And I'll be able to make a final call. So... Um, hopefully that's the case. One other thing I want to give a shout out to is if you haven't joined, uh, if you haven't joined our group, our indie PodCon group, which, uh, actually just gained like four new members within like the last 10 minutes of us being on, on here live. Uh, you can go to indiepodcon.com slash group, join the conversation. A lot of, there's a lot of conversations breaking out. There's even some spammers. Uh, I don't know if you saw it, Tim, but somebody was like spamming their, uh, podcast creation artwork or something like that i don't know it was crazy I, i'm like what the heck and i'm okay. getting text messages from people uh so you know remove the member and delete the comments but it's a shame it's a, it's a real shame mm -hmm. like nobody's 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 that's not a good way of doing it <laughs> it's like there's so many other ways to do it to put yourself yeah. out there uh by the way if you want to sponsor uh an episode of the indie pod podcast go to indiepodcon dot com slash partners there's a media kit there you scroll down you can check out uh how to sponsor a bunch of episodes it would be awesome we have so much engagement there's comments galore like this comment here that says hashtag icon six thanks lou hashtag podcast ratings dearth and hashtag indie podcon 2020 and very not notwithstanding very not withstanding. anyway uh yeah so those are all the things going on <laughs> definitely want to enjoy mm -hmm. uh join us uh this this saturday uh from 9 a.m to 5 p.m eastern daylight time all right so let's let's jump back into uh when is well you know when it, when is the, the ripped hole in your heart warranted <laughs> well, I, I think, and I'm glad you brought up uh, Icon because um, I, yeah, I, uh, I'm not blowing smoke up you here. That's I have just... enjoyed the three that I've gone to. Um, I oh, really have. Um, it's been fantastic, and uh, part of it has been um, I've actually uh, spoken. Uh, I'm sorry. I've, I, yeah, yeah. The ones I've been to, I've spoken at, and getting that instant feedback. Um, again, uh, sitting in front of all these, uh, podcasters and, uh, the first time I spoke, I talked about, um, you know, the uh, interview process. Cause a lot of times I do an interview show mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I got a lot of good feedback from that. The second thing that I talked about was the, um, Fred Rogers, uh, approach to podcasting, mm -hmm. which most people don't know that Fred Rogers had a podcast. He doesn't. I'm kidding. It's a lie. He didn't have it. But <laughs> he, the way he approached his audience is a great way to approach your podcast. Now, 
I hadn't uh, practiced that speech as well as I would have liked to. And um, I, yeah, there was you know, people were very generous and very nice, but there was a couple of people that are, they're like, you know, um, dude, it was almost there, but do, 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 do. And I was, and I was very appreciative of it. I was very open to it. And actually at the time um, I had some stuff going on with my eyes. I could not um, actually see my notes while the whole presentation was going on. So I was like, Oh, boom. Um, it was, it was Fred Rogers is everyone loves Fred Rogers, but I knew that I wasn't as prepared as I like to be for it. And I, I, I got that feedback right away. I think the other thing too is, you know, how do you know when it's, you know, when it's warranted, I think, you know, deep in your heart, did I give 110% to my audience? If you didn't give 110% to your audience, then you know that it's, uh, that it's warranted and y- you need to look at yourself in the mirror and go, why am I doing podcasting? Why am I, why am I involved in this? And it's one of the, you know, I, I've been in theater for many, many years and we talk a lot about collaboration and being a part of a team been in the military it's all you know we're all part of a team but i gotta say the podcasting community um is a team because back in 2017 at dc podfest there there i was could barely speak and you had done a presentation um and i came and talked to you uh, about editing my podcast and you took the time little old me who you know was a nobody quote unquote nobody um you took the time uh, to help me out with a few things that, uh, that I was struggling with. And then, uh, Chris, uh, with the, uh, pod fest, mm-hmm. uh, thing, he came to me the very, uh, he, I met him in 2017 as well. He came to me at, uh, MapCon 2018. And he had, and his first question was, Hey, how's the neck? How's the kids? How's the wife? He remembered everything like that. The guy's got, you know, a, a photographic memory. <laughs> and that's when I knew I was like, you guys are some pretty cool folks. I'm going to hang out with you guys pretty well. And you guys will call me to the carpet when I need to be called to the carpet. And, uh, yeah, and you guys will, uh, will, uh, you know, you'll, you'll be there to, uh, to pick me up when I'm feeling down. And then I have a responsibility as a member of this community to do the same for you. And as long as we all have that, you know, um, that relationship with each other, that we can be open and honest with each other, I'm going to be open and honest with you. I'm going to let you know when, hey, this wasn't fantastic. Um, I think we could have done better with this or that. And the other thing, Super Joe Pardo is always to the rescue. Uh, I, always to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> Lou is the man. I got to get Lou on my show. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you do. Because, <laughs> you know, I'll be hashtag to death. <laughs> well, yeah, you got you got to develop that relationship with people, though, too. I mean, you know, with podcasting and, and with this close and uh, circle of friends that we have here, um, we're fast friends. We we are fast friends. Usually, it takes me about two to three years to get you know anywhere close to anybody, and now I'm just like, hey guys, here's a picture of my girls, which I'm sure you guys are all sick of seeing, but they are the <laughs> most adorable <laughs> twins on the face of the planet. Matt Passy, yes, you have gorgeous children. Yes, you do. But my twins look uh, look a lot better. <laughs> and I just shaved one of my twin heads tonight. So there we go. Oh, what, wait, why? <laughs> what, what was the uh, she, what was the reasoning? Or she asked for it. She 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 yeah because uh, it's uh, uh, Genevieve. My uh, well, she's not watching this tonight. She's only five years old. Um, she's the oldest by ten minutes. <laughs> and. Um, she just said, Papa, I want to have hair like you. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It's taking me <laughs> four years to get that. I've earned this stuff. So, you know, I took the clippers to her head and she was very happy with it. So, um, and then uh, my other one, uh, Cordelia, she wants half her head shaved. Ah, uh, cool. Done. All right. <laughs> so we got coronavirus uh, haircut going on. So, so, uh, so a wall clippers, um, that'll be a hundred bucks. Thank you so much. See, I'm getting you the microphone. I'm yeah. The microphone. yeah. <laughs> we'll build these people later. Yeah. 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 
Uh, Lou says, uh, well, Kyle says Lou is the man. And Lou says, we are the yeah. best friends. I do love the relationships we've forged together in podcasting. And I, it, it is, it, you know, the community, I think, I think part of that comes from the fact that we are all leaders in, and we, we, you know, strive to lead other people. That's one of the reasons to have a podcast is to, to be able to lead people, mm -hmm. lead ourselves even, um, towards what our goals are. Cause like sometimes like you, start a podcast and we don't really know what like we don't know enough <laughs> about the topic but we're going to find out more about the topic and in the you know and and there's people that are going to come along with us for that journey and um so i i am super happy that like i have so many awesome friends that i've made that that are that are leaders that you know uh, push me to to go further and do more and uh try to be better in in every way i mean i was already trying to do that before that's how i earned the name super joe pardo but but like for real like the people that i've been able to surround myself with because of this podcasting community crazy thing uh it's it's it, it's pushed me that much harder, uh, for sure. And, and I'm so appreciative of it. Uh, so Tim, what, <laughs> there you go. Lou says lead, lead ourselves to our goals. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so what else, what else, what else is there that, you know, pushes you to, to challenge yourself, right? Because like the inner critic is going to come out and be like, well, maybe I shouldn't try. You know, mm -hmm. and that's remember Homer Simpson said, like, that's the first lesson, right? Like, never try. <laughs> never try. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It, it, the, the, the way to, and, and I don't want anybody to think I want you to beat your inner critic and not have an inner, inner critic is good to have because you need to know, um, you, you, you need to, uh, get that first layer. It's, it's like when you're editing your podcast. You know, for me, I edit out that first layer of, um, you know, the stuff that I know needs to go out, you know, my, uh, not all my ums, not all my breaths, but you know, there, there's that first layer that needs to go out. That is a really stupid idea, but you have to get, you have to do, uh, with poetry, I call it verbal vomit. You have to get it out and pick through it and get the good stuff out of it. Uh, just like with a podcast, you got to pick through the good stuff, uh, and, and knock that out. Um, I think you need to be realistic about uh, what you are, what your goals are, and what you're trying to uh, what you're trying to achieve with it. Because if you're like, okay, so I want to be on um, uh, the uh, new and noteworthy within six weeks, um, is is that a realistic goal? You know, for who you are, and um, is that really something you want to have? Is that where your audience is? Because if that's not where your audience is. Um, if, if they're not on uh, Apple Podcasts, if they're over in Europe, which they don't use uh, Apple products that much, good for them. I like Europeans. I want to go back to Paris. Yay. I'm not an Apple fan. I'm, I'm not an Apple fan. Clearly. Um, clearly. You know, Samsung is a superior product. I don't wish uh, inferior products upon my friends. <laughs> but, uh, oh, I, I hard, wholeheartedly disagree with that. That's, it's it's better for a short period of time, but that's not Samsung's fault as much as it's Google's Android's fault, if you ask me. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but I mean, you want you want to be realistic, realistic about those goals because if you if you go, uh, well, you know, I'm going to be on no, uh, new and noteworthy within six weeks, and you don't make that goal. How important is that to you to, to be there? Is, is that where you were? Is that part of your long game uh, where you want to be? And you should really have a long game. You should really think that I don't have a long game. Um, Kyle, uh, <laughs> Samson, <laughs> first. We all love, Fred says we all love exploding electronics. Hashtag Samsung fire sale. Yes, but that that probably wasn't exactly. all Samsung's fault. And either like, oh, I mean, here's my iPhone. I'm talking to you on a Windows PC, but here's my MacBook Pro. Like, I and I have an iPad upstairs. So like, and here, oh, here's my Apple Watch. Like, yeah, I'm I'm Apple, go. but at the same time, like, I use Windows too. It's just. I like to play games. That's why I use Windows. Because <laughs> I'm not giving up PC gaming anytime soon. PCMR. Oh, uh, no. So uh, let's see. Oh, uh, Lou says bring bring them where you want them to be. That you know you can try to bring people where you want them to be. It's 
but sometimes it's, it's difficult. And I think as as new creators, I think it's difficult to know what's really important, right? Because there's so much noise and so many things that you you know, you're just getting started. So you don't know. And that's why you should go to IndiePodCon.com slash SAP for the ultimate guide on how to start a podcast. Cause you will, you'll, there's so many talks. There's great talks on there uh, from so many. Pod- I think Kyle's the talk is on there. Actually. One of his talks. Oh, made yeah. on there. Um, so yeah. So go to IndiePodCon.com slash SAP. If you want to start a podcast anyway, I, you know, there's just so, there's so much noise of like, you gotta be on new and noteworthy. And, and, and there's something too new and noteworthy. I mean, I had I was on it back in 2014. That was forever ago. But it's not on my website or anything like that. I'm not like, you know, one, one person pointed out once. I forget where I was watching it. But they're like, hey, you want to be on new and noteworthy? Here, just open up Photoshop. <laughs> and like, boop, boop. And now you can just be like, I was on yeah. new and noteworthy. And no one's going to really know because it's just changing. It's ever changing every so like so quickly that it, it you you wouldn't even know unless you were like watching the stats, but that's not even the b- most important thing, right? The most important thing, as D. Dave Jackson says, out of eight hundred bucks, uh, is yes. is you got to get good, right? You got to like you know six years ago, I would have never wanted to get on camera and talk to to you know live to people and doing all this interaction and and do all that stuff. But to me, uh, you know, I this is this is where i'm at now like this is what i really i enjoy this this engagement i enjoy the conversations and i enjoy not having to read a bunch of questions off the list honestly like i used to do uh and lucy's hashtag pc gaming still lives it absolutely does it lives right in this garage along with other gamings (laughs) uh and uh Let's see. The long tail getting longer, says Brent. Uh, hashtag SAP, start a podcast. And Kyle says it is on there. So I was right. I, I knew the content that I put together, <laughs> apparently. Uh, resume everything, uh, says Lou. Hashtag resume everything. And you hashtag you got to get good. And you do. You really, you know, that's the most important thing is, is, is getting good. Because, like, even finding what the content, like, th- like here's a little secret i still don't know what kind of content i want to talk about i enjoy this show a lot i enjoy business so i do the business geeks podcast but like my sure. show is changing right like i'm getting ready to launch uh a a, a new basically uh, not a new show but maybe a new format slash you know initiative kind of thing and for anyone who hasn't seen it you absolutely should check this out because larry our our boy larry exotic larry roberts uh or larry yeah larry exotic uh put together this Mm -hmm. awesome cover art for the new super joe pardo show which is still it was the dreamers podcast but now evolving to to be the super joe pardo show to fit all of the branding that i should have figured out like two years ago uh <laughs> but it comes in time right like everything comes in in, in pieces and uh as lou says embrace hashtag embrace your changes yeah so i uh, you know you're not going to get it right on the first on the first try and you might go as you as you said uh tim you had a show back in 2006 like i was listening to a pot one podcast in 2006 starting back in 2005 mm-hmm. really um and you know i i loved it i absolutely mm-hmm. adored it in fact they just came back after being hiatus okay. for like four years they 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 came back uh minus one unfortunately matt hotsberg you're on notice but uh you know it's so awesome when that those kinds of things come together but you know, we're not all lucky enough to have that one show that can last 20 years. And, and I mean, cause like, think about it. even TV, sh- TV shows, right? They end, they get canceled. They, they have yeah. finite amounts of things, movies, movie series, like mm-hmm. everything has a finite shelf on it. Oh, yeah. Um, so I, I don't think that you, you should look at that as like a failure, but more as like a, uh, an opportunity just to, to shutter. I mean, our boy Nick G, right? He, he just shuttered his show after mm-hmm. almost 200 episodes, over 200 episodes if you count all as many episodes and stuff. So, yeah, you know, you, you make up the rules. Like this is, this is your property and, and you got to feel comfortable with it. Absolutely. And you know, it, it's, it, it's hard to uh, pivot a show. I'm going through that right now with KDOI versus, um, create Art podcast. I, I, I put out a, uh, just a episodes, uh, on KDOI uh, just this last week saying, Hey guys, 
um, um, come on over to, to create our podcast that got, you know, like a hundred downloads the next day. I'm like, okay, great. You guys are listening. Come on over to create our podcast. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it, it's difficult. Um, anything worth, uh, changing, you know, and anything that's good that you have a real passion for, you're going to have these, uh, th these bumps in the road. And that's okay. You learn a lot from the bumps in the road. Um, with uh, doing a pod rec with, with Kyle, we just had Ross Brand on there. Now, I remember, you know, talking about the YouTube stuff back in Indie PodCon, back in uh, when we did it uh, in um, uh, Atlantic City. Um, DC PodFest was, you know, all YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. And I remember, you know, talking, listening to Ross a couple of times going, hey, this live streaming stuff. And I'll tell you, like, Six months ago, three months ago, I was like, eh, live streaming. Yeah, I've got a face for podcasting. My, my wife loves my face. My kids love my face. Did I tell you? My kids are gorgeous. They're beautiful. <laughs> I'm not biased at all. I'm just telling you the truth. But, you know, I've got the face for podcasting, and I don't have the face for live streaming. And you know what? I, I went out of my comfort zone, and I did my first live stream after we had uh, Ross on our show because he, he was so comforting with it. And was it the best show I've ever done? Uh -uh. No, nah, it wasn't the best show I've ever done. But you know what? I got over it. I got that show knocked out. I'm ready to do another one. I'm hungry for another one. Went on Amazon, bought a, a thing for my phone to have a phone stand. I've got the lovely little camera that's right over there. Uh, and and it's not, I'm not using my laptop camera. I actually went and invested in myself. Invest in your show, folks. You don't have to get the best equipment out there. You don't have to go crazy with it, but invest in yourself. And then your audience will invest in you. Well, yeah. I mean, I think there's the, there's the, the law of diminishing returns, right? Uh, which we kind of talked about this two nights ago when I jumped in at the end of our of your uh, Virginia Podcasters Association podcasting meetup, which you should totally go mm -hmm. check out. Uh, why don't you plug that, Tim? Yeah, well, it's over at uh, Vapoda, V-A-P-O-D-A dot org. And what we do is we do uh, once a month and we talk to, uh, it's not just for Virginia podcasters anymore because uh, the uh, library where we used to hold it at is closed. So <laughs> we're doing it uh, via Zoom, uh, you know, via Zoom, Zoom 100 bucks, please. Um, please, really. And uh, so uh, we, we do that once a month. We go from uh, soup to nuts. We, we start with, you know, podcasting 101, what is it? All the way to um, just this la last week, we were talking about how to make podcasting your day job, which is what I've done with my day job. Um, I actually uh, work for the federal government. And uh, earlier today, I'm finishing up a proposal to do the first podcast um, in our, well, we have one episode of a really bad podcast back in 2014 um, for our HR department. But I got my job partially because, and this is a Dave Jackson, you know, because of my podcast moment, um, because I knew how to podcast. And now I'm the guy to go, I'm the guy that they go to for, um, you know, Zoom meetings, WebEx meetings, podcasts, all that kind of jazz. But um, yeah, we, we do this uh, once a month. That's actually how I got uh, straightened out in my podcasting journey. Thank you, uh, to good old Kyle Bondo, my, uh, my, my mentor, my good friend. And, um, the one that I keep, you know, I, I bring him down to earth a whole lot of times. Um, as you can tell <laughs> now he's, he's playing flavor, flavor for me. Uh, so uh, thank you, Kyle, for doing that. Uh, Kyle Bondo, hundred bucks, please. <laughs> but yeah, we do, we do it every, we do it, uh, once, uh, once a month on Monday, we do it at 9 p.m. because then I mentioned I have twin girls that are gorgeous. I have mm -hmm. twin girls that are gorgeous. I got to put them to bed Monday night. Didn't have to put them to bed tonight, but I put them to bed every night and I make sure that they listen to at least one or two podcasts before they go to sleep. Not mine because <laughs> they're used to my voice. <laughs> so so uh kyle says podcasting is only a hobby if you treat it like one if you treat it like a professional then you are a professional uh i would i would tend to agree with that cause great advice uh hashtag because of my podcast uh the dave jackson and hashtag where's my hundred bucks <laughs> <laughs> sorry lou i don't know where your hundred bucks is you have to reach out to dave jackson i think it's like dave at school podcasting.com to uh collect your 
finding your finder's fee. Uh, so uh, I forget where I was going with all that in the uh, there, but uh, oh, Kyle says uh, very true. I chase balloons. Tim holds on to my shoelaces. Hashtag or well, win win. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I. I, I don't remember where we were going before. Oh, oh, it was the dimin- law of dimin- diminishing returns. So like, I yeah. you hung out a little bit afterwards. I was trying to get this str- like a a, D- a mirrorless DSLR camera that I have hooked up to my computer, and it just was grainy as anything. Well, it wouldn't even I don't even think it worked initially. But then I I after you got off, I got it to work, and it was like grainy as anything. And I was like, well, this is really stinks. And then I hooked up my other camera. Uh, that I use a little more often, and that one worked just fine, except it puts a box around your face because, like, that's important to see when you're with it on the on the screen, okay. like, wh- uh, you know, uh, without any way to turn it off, uh, which is super annoying. Uh, there's a way to turn it off, but it costs like sixty bucks and it requires more software to like strip it out and all that. But anyway, point being is. You know, you can spend like hundreds and hundreds more dollars and and all that, but you're only going to get so much more out of what you have. Like, I I mean, I'm using a hundred dollar webcam, which you can regularly get for like 50 bucks. Right now, it's like five hundred dollars because they're hard to come by the C920s and a hundred dollar microphone right now. When upstairs, I have, you know, a three hundred and fifty dollar. I don't know what the SM7B goes for at this point Two. 270 i think i bought or 350 i don't know something like that plus a mixer plus a cloud lifter more wires more headache more more everything and it's not that i don't love it it just it's this is supposed to be like a mobile setup where i can like take this table lift like unplug two wires and like lift it into the other garage to open up more free space here so it's Mm -hmm. we're trying to figure it all out but point being is is like the law of diminishing returns is a hundred dollar microphone or fifty dollar, sixty dollar microphone is better than like literally the microphone that's in this webcam because that would just be a, a horrible mess. And I got you know <laughs> headphones here, so it works. It does the thing. It, you know, this arm was like thirty bucks or something when I have like a hundred dollar road arm upstairs. Uh, but this mm-hmm. this one does the trick. It, it it's not as long. It's not as convenient. But again, I have that. That is that the road we one. We got the same one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. this is the road Oh, but oh, yeah, no, I think oh okay. The same one. Is is yeah. it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, I think you're right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is uh, I don't know who makes this one? A uh, pile. This is a pile one. Pile. Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you get, it's you get it that just, on Amazon. <laughs> it just works. Uh, and I'm good mm-hmm. with that. So sometimes hashtag sometimes less is more. It, it is more. Uh, it is less is more sometimes, not all the time, but you know, it has to be convenient too. It has to, has to work for your workflow, uh, or else you're just like, you're going to be spinning your wheels trying to like get the best, the quality of everything. And, and it also teaches you, um, something, uh, you know, that you might not realize, but it teaches you to improvise, improvise and you like figure out how to use like a, a table lamp to like light yourself proper, like, properly or well enough mm-hmm. uh versus like oh i gotta buy the lighting kit and now i got tripods up in my office and now i got this and i got that and i got this big mixer instead of like just like a two channel mixer or four channel mixer that like to do my one microphone show like things like that just mm-hmm. you know putting putting it out there you need to think about uh things that are going to enable you to get more reps in faster rather than like tweaking things and not getting any reps in at all um and ha- uh, hashtag what works for your workflow thanks lou uh so tim we're we're about up against the clock here i know we started like a couple minutes late tim how can everybody connect with you uh online well it's real simple there joe uh create art podcast.com all those words jumbled them together if you want to shoot me an email i'm going to make it even simpler for you timothy at createartpodcast.com um if you uh, you want to hit my uh, the uh, the twitter as i like to call it create art pod uh because twitter wouldn't let me put podcasting i don't know why twitter we'll talk to you guys later and then uh, my instagram and uh facebook group is at uh create art podcasting and you can find me uh, all over those places you can also find me uh if you go to our network page at gagglepod g a g g l e pod.com um i love uh, you know uh, rooting that out i got to get a video of my girls doing that one day and um 
uh, without the yes, without the yes, Lou, uh, not create art podcasts, just create art podcast. And, uh, cause I only have one, uh, one of those. Yeah. Uh, that's where you can find me at. Um, I'm usually in the uh, Facebook uh, groups as well. Um, I try to help out everybody that I can. If you ask me a question, I'm there for you. If I don't know the answer, I got super Joe right over that away. Oh, the, the, um, the, and I've got this side right here. <laughs> that side? You're over here. You're, you're over He's there. Up here. Yes. yes. All over the place. Joe's everywhere. Um, i got people. <laughs> Yagropod.com. I got yep. uh, Kyle over there. I got the Dave Jackson. If you got a question, just ask. We all need to kind of get over ourselves um, and go out there and ask these questions because not everybody knows everything. And that's part of that inner critic, too. You know, I should know this. I should know that. I'm going to have master's in theater education. I know how to say, Would you like fries with that? <laughs> On a stage with a thousand people. That's it. Uh. <laughs> so if, if I can do it, you guys can do it. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Tim, for coming on and being a guest and uh, having having a good time. It was, it was an Absolutely honor having you, job. man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, thank you. You know what? I don't actually have somebody scheduled for next week, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez! <laughs> yeah so i'll have to well i'll have to figure something i'll figure something out before we get there but uh but i want to say a, a big shout out to our sponsor for this episode which is podbean podbean live podbean's live stream is a unique platform for turning your podcast production into a live show and is open to any podcaster on any hosting site easily invite multiple co-hosts and guests to join the live stream earn money from live show ticket sales and get listener rewards and engage your audience in new and exciting ways ready to get started are you ready to get started tim i'm always ready to get started yeah I'll let's me do it too. now so, well, I, I got i got things to staple <laughs> I got plastic to staple up in my in my garage here. This to the ceiling. Uh, <laughs> sign up today at www.podbean.com slash live. That's P-O-D-B-E-A-N dot com slash live. And uh, I, I hope everyone's staying safe. I hope everybody hashtag Lou is a sponsor too. Oh, he he is a sponsor. He he's a sponsor of uh, both this show and Business Geeks podcast. Super appreciate you, Lou. I hope you're staying safe down in Florida. Kyle, appreciate you for for checking in here. And Brent, who's now I think on his own live stream with uh, Brett Allen, who's also a uh, icon as well. Uh, yes, thank you, Kyle, for saying it's a great show, Super Tim, and fabulous Tim. Uh, real men make twins. I love the shirt. I didn't get. Th- I was wondering what that shirt said. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right everybody wait, wait, wait. i oh go ahead i was gonna say uh, i'll get you your own shirt when i see you next when I, well i don't have twins i i i'm 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 twin list honorary twin you're ar- you're an honorary Within twin two years. dad i matt, matt and i voted on it you're in the club <laughs> oh thank you that thank you very much they basically are like little little twins just the little yeah one can't talk yet still poops in a diaper so all right <laughs> anyway i hope you all are staying safe i hope you you and your families are taking care of and getting your foods and staying out of bowling alleys and other things that are apparently opening in within like a, less than a week's time, which sounds kind of insane, but whatever to each their own. If you want to go bowling, um, hand sanitize a lot, I guess. I don't know. Wear a bubble suit. All right, everybody. Uh, I'll have somebody on here for next week. Take care. <laughs>